Hey everyone, GC Kane here. I am going to show you a quick tutorial on how to get basic grid line on your iOS device, which can be an iPad or an iPhone. Like I said, it's a basic grid pattern, so do not expect grids for any spins or centering the ball or something like that. This grid pattern is exclusively to assist you in pulling, pushing, and adjusting your rings. So keep that in mind and you do not need your device to be jailbroken for this. So let's jump on to the video now. Now to get started with the grid pattern, we will first hit the settings button and you will scroll down on your left and find the access accessibility tab. There you will find the voice control tab. You will click on voice control. Once you click on voice control, you will click on overlay. You click on overlay and you will be selecting numbered grid the last one and below you will see numbered grid overlay you can select the number of rows you want number of columns you want for me i prefer to have three rows and two columns rows are horizontal columns are vertical so you can choose n number of columns there as well n number of rows so I selected three by two and then I toggled the voice control on. Now you can see on my screen, we have a grid of two columns and three rows. Jumping onto the game now and giving you a quick walkthrough of how I adjust the rings using this grid pattern. Now at first I thought I would go into rookie but then we have less wind and I needed like to pull some rings to show you how I pull my rings so instead of going into rookie I went through export directly and at a random I selected hole 1 par 4 in the upcoming snow city 9 hole cup. Now I will not be taking my shot but I'll be just showing you how I pull my rings using this grid pattern. Now it's our turn. Tail crosswind 9.8. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my white ring and keep it there. See, just right there at the bottom of the white ring, I have a grid. Now that's one ring, two rings, three rings, four rings, and finally five rings. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we just pulled a total of 10 rings. And then going backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So this is how you can pull or push your rings. Now I'm gonna time out. Now we will use an example using the Golf Flash Notebook app. When it's my turn, we will skip this one. Now I have slowed this video down because we are going to make use of our Golf Flash Notebook app. And I'm going to show you the actual adjustment for 10.1 miles per hour, Epoch 4, max plus 15. We have 7.1 rings. So notice what I will do on my Second row, I will keep my white ring right there. And in one single pull, I'll be adjusting 7.1 rings. We know till yellow, it's five rings. And then above yellow, it's again, one, two, three, four, five rings. So yellow to red should be two rings. So five plus two is seven. And at top of the red ring, well, like point 0.1 above red ring is 7.1 right there. Now, if we would also like to push up our rings in many of the cases when we are playing with the power five ball, we need to push up certain yardage or certain rings. You again, turn around your camera, keep the grid at the bottom of the white ring, and then you push up the required number of rings. Here I am pushing up to max plus 11 yards. So I'm pushing five rings. If you are pushing in plus yardage, you can push in plus yardage. If you are pushing up number of rings, you can count from the bottom using the white ring as ring number one and count the appropriate number of rings. And once you are done playing, you will repeat the procedure. You will go back to settings, accessibility, voice control, toggle of the voice control and the grid is off now. 
again summarizing everything you go into settings accessibility voice control and then you you just have to toggle the voice control on and off because it will save the number of rows and columns which you have already input and the type of grid you selected which is a numbered grid then you can select the appropriate gameplay which would be the tour play or the tournament or something like that and that's pretty much it pretty easy you don't need your device to be jailbroken for this and uh, let me know if you have any question whatsoever i will be glad to assist you good luck in your golf clash game